Imagine a future where the U.S. Army and robots stand shoulder to shoulder on the battlefield. It's not just a scene from a movie, it's becoming real. Let's explore what a robotic army could look like and what it means for warfare. Let's start with the impressive Battlefield Extraction Assist robot, also called Bear. This robot is like a superhero on the battlefield. It looks a bit like a human top half with strong arms, but instead of legs, it has tough tank tracks. Bear can lift heavy things, up to 227 kilograms, and even break through doors. The main job of Bear is to save soldiers. It's built to go into dangerous places, find soldiers who are hurt, pick them up, and carry them to safety. This means less risk for other soldiers who would usually go in to help. What's really cool about Bear is how soldiers control it. They can use a special handle that's like a rifle grip, or even special gloves that let them use hand signals. This makes it easy for soldiers to tell Bear where to go and what to do, even when things are hectic and stressful in battle. There's another robotic marvel transforming the way soldiers operate in challenging terrains. It's Alpha Dog, a different kind of battlefield assistant. Alpha Dog is a big, strong robot with four legs, kind of like a really tough mule. It's made to help soldiers by carrying all their heavy stuff over hard to walk places. This robot is powered by something called a hydraulic actuation system. That's a fancy way of saying it uses fluid power to move and lift heavy things. Alpha Dog's main job is to make life easier for soldiers on the move. It can handle rough and uneven ground, making sure soldiers don't have to carry all their heavy gear by themselves. This robot is like a super strong helper, ready to take on the toughest terrains. Let's look at a smaller but amazing robot called Mayars. It's small but very powerful and is changing the way we think about fighting in wars. Just like its predecessor swords, which had its debut in Iraq, Mars brings a new level of versatility and power to the battlefield in a compact package. It's a small robot, but don't be deceived by its size. Mars is a powerhouse. It can be fitted with various weapons, from blinding lasers and tear gas for non-lethal missions, to a formidable grenade launcher for more intense combat situations. This modular design allows for quick adaptation to different scenarios, making Mars a crucial tool for modern military strategy. It's a prime example of how smaller, more agile robots are reshaping the dynamics of warfare, offering both flexibility and formidable capabilities. While Mars demonstrates its adaptability and strength on the battlefield, the Ghost Robotics Vision 60 is carving out its own remarkable niche in advanced military defense technology. The Ghost Robotics Vision 60 is a remarkable example of modern robotics technology, especially in the field of military defense. During a high-level exercise on September 1, 2020, at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada, this prototype robot demonstrated its capabilities alongside a security forces airman in a simulated challenging environment. At the core of Vision 60's technology is its sophisticated artificial intelligence, AI, system. This AI enables the robot to process and analyze data rapidly, making it incredibly efficient at identifying potential threats. Whether it's detecting unusual activities or identifying hostile elements, the Vision 60's AI is designed to assess situations with a high degree of accuracy. The Vision 60 isn't just smart, it's also built to handle tough conditions. Its design allows for exceptional mobility across diverse terrains, which is essential for operations in austere or challenging environments. The robot's robust construction ensures it can withstand harsh conditions, making it a reliable tool for security and reconnaissance missions. When it comes to military robots, most people think of big armed machines ready for battle. But there's more to a military's needs than just combat. Many robots are being made to help out in other ways. One interesting example is the Safir Shipboard Autonomous Firefighting Robot. This robot is a project by engineering students from Virginia Tech, and it's made for a very important job, putting out fires on Navy ships. Fires on ships can be really dangerous and hard to deal with, that's where Safir comes in. This robot is being designed to quickly take care of fires on ships. It's not just about putting out the flames, it's about doing it in places and situations where it might be too risky for people. 
One of the coolest things about Sapphire is how it can handle heat. It's being made to resist much higher temperatures than humans can. This means it can go into fiery situations and fight the fire without putting sailors in danger. Although Sapphire is still being worked on, its development shows how military robots can do a lot more than just fight. They can be lifesavers in other ways, like protecting sailors from fires. It's an example of how robots can really help out, doing jobs that are too dangerous for people. Another robot, the Multi-Utility Tactical Transport by General Dynamics Land Systems, demonstrates a different aspect of robotic assistance in the field. The Multi-Utility Tactical Transport, MUT, Unmanned Ground Vehicle, UGV, is a game changer in military operations. Designed to enhance combat power and ease the load on soldiers, MUT serves as a multifunctional tool in the field. MUT is all about supporting infantry units with intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, reconnaissance, ISTAR, and firepower. It's built to be versatile, adapting to different missions with various payloads and control systems. Its high autonomy and low noise and heat signatures make it ideal for discrete operations. The U.S. Marine Corps tested MUT in July 2016, focusing on its load-carrying capabilities. Later, in November 2019, the U.S. Army selected it for the Squad Multi-Purpose Equipment Transport SMET, program, ordering 624 units in a contract valued at $162.4 million, with deliveries starting in 2021. The British Army also joined in, selecting MUT for the Army Warfighting Experiment 2019, AWE-19. They received two MUT 888 UGVs in April 2020 from General Dynamics Land Systems UK. Let's turn to another remarkable innovation in military robotics, the GuardBot. Unlike the MUT, the GuardBot is a spherical robot that was initially designed for space missions. The GuardBot is a unique player in the world of military robotics, proving that not all these machines need to be armed to be essential. Originally conceived for exploring Mars, this small, spherical robot is perfect for reconnaissance missions. It doesn't carry weapons. Instead, it's equipped with high-quality cameras. It's a cool robot that looks like a big ball. It was first thought of for space missions, but now it's used here on Earth. It can roll around on land and even swim in water, moving pretty fast in both places. GuardBot can be made in many sizes, from really small to as big as 9 feet wide. This means it can do lots of different things, like checking out tight spaces or being a big helper in larger areas. This robot is like a moving camera. It can carry things like sensors to find stuff like gas or chemicals, and it has cameras that can see all around. This makes it great for watching places and finding out what's happening without people having to be there. GuardBot works well in many places on sandy beaches, snowy hills, or even in water. It can move smoothly and quickly, which is really handy for lots of different jobs, from keeping an eye on things for safety to helping out in emergencies. Besides military stuff, GuardBot can be used for other cool things. It can help in farming, check on patients in hospitals, and even be used in sports to show live videos of games. Thanks for joining Robot Rewind on this journey into the future of military technology. Together, we've envisioned a world where the U.S. Army and advanced robots work side by side on the battlefield. This isn't just a fantasy. It's a real future that's unfolding before our eyes. Stay tuned for more insights and discussions on how robotics are reshaping our world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next video where we continue exploring the fascinating world of robots.